Hi friends and families, Jenny here. And earlier this week, we talked about all the different things we could think of that grow bigger and expand. We also talked about one of those things that's going to grow and get bigger is you. So today I wanted to share me and my amazing body. As you keep growing, you keep learning about your body and this will help us continue to understand our body as it grows. Me and My Amazing Body by Joan Sweeney and illustrated by Annette Cable. This is me and my amazing body. These are the parts of my body that I can see. You can read with me for this part, friends. Eyes, mouth, nose, ears, elbow, fingers, knee, toes, stomach, hand, leg, and foot. But most of my body I can't see because my skin covers almost every inch of it. Skin comes in many different colors. It holds my body together and lets me feel things like my kitten's soft fur or the prickly spikes of my cactus. Ouch! Beneath my skin are bones, all 206 of them. When my bones are put together, they're called a skeleton. My skeleton holds up my skin just like tent poles hold up a tent. Bones are hard and help protect the softer insides of my body. And here we see that even her cat has a skeleton inside his body. Attached to my bones are my, ooh, this looks different. These are your muscles. This is your muscular system. My body has more than 600 muscles. They stretch and shrink like rubber bands. Muscles do the hard work of moving my body all around, back and forth and up and down. I even use my muscles when I smile. So muscles help us move heavy things, climb, run, lift. My muscles move because my brain tells them to. My brain's the boss of my body and it lets me think my own special thoughts. It's so important that it has its own safe place in my head inside a very hard bone called my skull. My brain sends and receives messages from all parts of my body. So there's your brain. Can you tap your brain? You can tap your skull and your brain is inside. My body and brain need lots of energy to work well. They get energy from my blood. So here's your blood, all the veins that are in your body. Blood contains oxygen from the air and nourishment from the food that I eat. My blood travels all over my body through special tubes called veins and arteries. If I cut or scrape my skin and it bleeds, ouch, don't worry, my body is always making more blood. My blood can't move through my body all by itself. It needs my heart. A group of strong muscles in my chest to move it. My heart is like my own little engine. It pumps blood through my body all the time, even when I'm sleeping. If I put a hand on my chest, I can feel my heart beating. I can also feel my lungs working when I breathe in deep. My lungs fill with fresh air like balloons and send the part of the air that I need 
the oxygen, into my blood. Then my lungs push the used air back out. A moment later, I breathe in fresh air all over again. My body needs food along with air, or else I wouldn't grow. When I get hungry, I eat, and the food goes down into my stomach. After I eat, my stomach mashes the food into very tiny pieces. Then my body takes what it needs for energy and growth and gets rid of whatever it doesn't need. Ooh, every part of my body works together to keep me going. So here you can see, I'll turn it for a moment. So she starts with her skin. Then we see the brain, we see the eyes, the skull, that hard bone, ear, mouth, there's her heart. As we move, we'll see her lungs. We see her stomach down here. We see the veins that carry her blood. We see her muscles. As we keep moving, we see more of that skeleton. We see her bones, more muscles and then her toe. And over here, she's labeled her cat, whisker, tail, and paw. So there she is. That's her whole body. And keep me growing, and someday I'll be all grown up. Isn't it amazing? Most of all, every person in the world has a body that's very much the same, but every person is also very different. There's no one else in the world exactly like you, and no one exactly like me, or ever will be. And here they're holding some signs that I'll read to you. It says, like all the stars in the sky. The end. Here's some interesting facts about the body, and we've learned so much already. And I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more today about your body, how it grows, and what you might grow up to be. Happy reading, friends, and I'll see you again soon. And happy growing. Bye.